Good afternoon folks, Reckonist here, and welcome to the F1 Manager channel, a brand new channel covering F1 Manager games with guides and other related content. Now the game has been out for just over a week now at the time of recording this, and while I do have plenty of videos planned, I've had to hold off on actually producing them because, well, it's pretty clear the game needs patches, and that will most likely make any videos obsolete rather quickly, but there are some things that we know F1 Manager cannot change, quite probably due to licensing, and th this is my number one tip right now I have currently, and it's based around the race calendar. Now, with no circuits added throughout the career mode, we know not only the dates, but the order that the races will be ran in, in every season. Using this information, we can plan accordingly. So what is the tip? Well, I made notes on which performance areas on the cars are crucial for each circuit and important for each circuit, and I assigned a point score to them, which was two for crucial and one for important, then noted when in the calendar those races happen and made an observation. It turns out circuits earlier in the season have a larger high-speed downforce focus than any other factor, and then the latter half of the season has a low speed downforce focus if you add them all up. So with the observation made, I created test saves focusing on developing high downforce generation parts early in the season and low downforce parts in the latter half of the season, uh, just before the Hungary break, I started to create those. We also took into account researching for the following season, which was started pretty much at the halfway point. And uh, yeah, my results were pretty awesome. The first test was with Alfa Romeo and Battery Voltas, where we won the World Drivers' Championship with two races to spare, which was a great result. Uh, but you do start off with a really good car, You're like the fourth best car on the grid, but as the season goes on, you sort of get caught up quite quickly because you have very poor facilities. But nevertheless, that was an overperformance. Uh, then we moved on to Alpine, where we became second in the World Drivers' Championship and second in the Constructors due to having better drivers all round and a better team all round. But again, coming second, beating uh, Ferrari into second place was quite an accomplishment. And to see if it was completely overpowered, I went to Williams, uh, which is a much bigger job. Your first season, regardless of what you do, you're probably going to end up with a handful of points at best. But season two was when it all came around with better facilities, following the same pattern. Uh, we actually started to win races, uh, but you do, again, have to wait a season to build facilities. It's not completely and utterly ridiculously overpowered. But the theory is sound. It's not groundbreaking, and it won't be news to some, uh, but what no one can do now is that it is a sound strategy and uh, give it a try. Let's see how you do and report back in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching. This is a new channel again, so all the help you can give it, please do so. Give it a like, give it a sub, give it a share. Uh, more videos to follow. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.